We must find the Elemental Sanctuary to fill the sword with elemental power! I'd never have looked for the Elemental Sanctuary in Hyrule Castle, though. You know how to get there, right? Let's go! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Sorry for the delay in parts. I... YouTube's been really getting to me lately, and I just didn't really feel like hanging around the site, and it's just been reflecting in my videos lately, I feel. I just don't feel I didn't have... I felt I didn't have the enthusiasm that I did before, and... I, yeah, I just thought it was a good idea to take a break when when the whole thing was getting to me, and yeah, I know it sounds like a bad excuse, but when you're on a site that just keeps getting worse and worse on a regular basis, it just kind of wears you down, I guess you could say. Anyway, are you sure I look alright? I never know what to wear for formal occasions. Oh, you'll be fine. You're made of pure fabric. So, we've been through Hyrule Castle before, but... There's actually something new opened up. No, it's not these doors. There's actually a new special area. If you follow these stairs... And... Take a right and go up. There's this door right here, which leads to the courtyard. Nothing all that special. But when you get to here... Whoa! Link, look! See how that doorway glows? Could that be the door that leads to the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle seems able to see it but you and me. Let's go! Quickly! Indeed we shall. So, let's go through this door and... This is indeed... The Elemental Sanctuary. <sighs> Calm music. Crystalies. Take in the atmosphere, for you will not be here long. By the way, this symbol on the floor here, it looks really terrible on my uh, Nintendo DS Lite because of the um, uh, motion blur on the system, because you know how slow LCD screens are. This this symbol really distorts from the color combination that they have here, and it's just, ugh. I don't know how to describe it to you, it's just like the green um, coats over the pink on the symbol, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to say that fun fact for you and it's irrelevant. I don't know, I just wanted to mention something about LCD screens and how bad they can be, I guess. So, what is that over there? It looks like some sort of pedestal. So, this is the Elemental Sanctuary, then. This is where we can infuse your blade with the powers of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle there. So, let's go and check it out. By the way, you remember these glowy spots? We are about to find out what they are very shortly. By the way, there's nothing off to the sides here unless you just want to take a look, look see around the area. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to take a look around because there really isn't anything there. I just want to show you the spots just so that uh, you can get an idea of what it is and watch your sword transform. Woo! Woo! And now it looks even cooler! Plus, it's got a new ability. The powers of the earth and fire elements have infused your blade. But what did it do? Let's go read that tablet, shall we? Hmm. Mm. Let's see if I can't read that tablet for you. Fill your sword with power and walk over the glowing tile. Hmm. Perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Link! And this is why you needed to get the charge, or I should say the spin attack. Watch the meter go up. When it fills up, you can step over a spot, it'll glow like that. Well, like a flashing glow. I hope that shows up on the camera as a flashing glow, because I know the frame rate of YouTube and stuff like that. Anyway, then stand on another spot. You have multiplied! Whoa! You just split in two! So this is the power of the White Sword! I guess you can double yourself like that anytime you see those panels! And so... Obviously that means... Oh, this is actually a little bit of a puzzle here. Because if you don't stand on the right spots, like if I were to make a mistake here, you would not be able to press both these buttons at the same time. What? That worked?! Huh? What?! That shouldn't have worked! <laughs> well, so much for that puzzle. 
Um, here's another thing that you gotta watch out for, is that when you, um, when your doppelganger, your, like your lighter colored side, touches the wall that it cannot normally go through, it vanishes like that. So keep that in mind, because there's gonna be puzzles related to that later on. Alright, let's pass by the terrible looking spot on an LCD screen, and leave the sanctuary. Now that I got this, it's time to do some side quests. More specifically, Kinstone stuff. Uh, maybe I'll start with the um, the ones that, I, that are like guaranteed first, and then I'll start doing the random ones. Like, there, the first 22 Kinstones in this game happened before a certain cutscene, which I'm not going to spoil, but they're all active right now. And if you don't get all 22, it'll kind of mess up the order of the other ones later on, and it, it's very complicated to explain this, but I really recommend that at, at this point in the game to get the first 22 Kinstone fusions all up and ready to go. What is going on here? Interesting. You're the last person I expected to f find here. And just as I was wondering who could be behind this, I find my old master. Uh-oh! Oh, poop! It's Vati! What? I mean, I saw him like toad there. And as always, you are dressed in... <laughs> The shabbiest of rags. My curses are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you will, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should never have created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool! I had that grants the wishes of its wearer is a spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I have gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to the greatest sorcerer alive! You cannot stop me now, and I have you to thank for it. Accept a small gesture of gratitude from me. Come back here, you coward! Wait, Freddy, wait! Oh, jeez, we're trapped, and we gotta battle some moblins. It's no big deal, just hit him from the back or the sides, and you'll be able to kill him off rather quickly. Whoops, I got nicked by... Nope, don't... Stop that. <laughs> and then the rocks magically disappear just as fast as they appeared once you kill him off. That foul Vati! What could he be scheming now? Link, I feel I owe you an explanation for what happened. You see... Vati and I are both Minish. I was once a famous sage and a renowned Minish craftsman. Vati was only a boy when I took him as on as my apprentice, but he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men. One day, Vati took a hat I made for the humans, my pride and joy. He granted the wishes of its wearer. He put it on without permission. Flashback. There's the cap. Uh-oh. Vati, what are you doing there? Oh, poop. Oh, what a vile form you've taken. Vile? <clears throat> vile. I am a sorcerer now, and my power is beyond compare. No longer will I tire away as your apprentice. Now all shall call me master. Why, Vati, what are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens. And when it does, I shall claim the life force as my own. I will be transformed, perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. And that's how he turned into a hat. <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? Do you see, Ezlo? I am truly your master now, and you cannot stop me. And with that, I must be leaving.
Curse you, Vati. Curse you. In all the legends, of course, the gifts the Vakori gave the humans, what you call the Vakori Blade, was the first of those gifts. The second, well, you call it Light Force, but it is a source of limitless magical power. If Vati were to get it now, it would be devastating. I came to the world of men hoping to stop Vati, and I met you in the woods. But it seems we won't be breaking this cur the curse on me anytime soon. However, with the Sacred Blade, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry. All that has happened has been due to my own pride. My folly. I must rely on you, on your power, until we've put an end to Vati. <coughs> Alright. Well, Link, enough fairy tales. You must search for the next element. But first, we got some kinstones to fuse. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do here is go back to town and start off by going. Actually, wait. I didn't activate this yet, really? I thought I. Huh. Could have swore I activated that before. Yeah, those things are still mysterious up to uh, this. I mean, at this point in the game. But I know what they do, but I'm not gonna spoil it. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do here is go over to this house. Remember this guy here? This is one of the guaranteed Kinstone fusions at this point in the game. And uh, yeah, he's the guy that came from a faraway land. And uh, so I'm going to fuse with him. Hopefully I have the right piece. No, I don't right now. Poopers. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll come back to him later, because I, I'm sure I'll be able to get that piece before um, that point in the game comes. I mean, before I um, shuffle up the fusions. Anyway, the next guaranteed Kinstone fusion is by the mayor here, and I have the correct piece. In fact, the correct piece, I forgot to mention this when I got it, is in his cellar. Remember when I went outside the right side of his house and went down the... Uh, the ladder? Yeah, that led to this piece, so I could have actually fused Kinstones with him then. But for the sake of organization, I decided not to, and that was actually kind of a bad idea because I have to mention it now, and yeah, I cannot access that right now. <laughs> so, right now, I'm more concerned about getting as many fusions done as I possibly can, as well as some um, uh, side quests done that I can do right now just to uh, further things along. Oh, I don't have enough elements to be able to move that block. I need at least three elements to be able to push this heavy block over. And yeah, that's that's the idea of the uh, elements powering up the sword, is that you can then solve puzzles like that giant block puzzle there. And that's not really much of a puzzle once you know that. <laughs> um, let's see, what else can I do now? I think what I'm gonna do is go flop over to Veil vale Falls. This is a place we haven't been to yet, that's the wrong way, I'm gonna end up in the dead end, I just realized, because there's a ledge. Uh, the reason why I want to go to Veil vale Falls is because there's a really, really easy hard piece to get there. You, no, no, bad, no, dang wildlife always getting in my way. <sighs> um, stuff like this tree with the thorns in front of it, that, that is the kind of stuff that you will see open up with kinstones. So, it, it may look like that you are going to be able to do that with an item, or but you can't actually do that now. Wow, look at the size of that waterfall! Beautiful! Simply beautiful, my boy! Now, over here, keep this in mind, there's a special kinstone fusion over here. Oh, and I should also mention, one of the 22 kinstones that occur before a certain cutscene that I'm not going to spoil... Um, Oh, I'm at the wrong spot, aren't I? I need to go a little bit further down, my mistake. One of the kinstones is already done, which is the Hurdy Gurdy Man. Um, out of my way. I wonder if that, that house there happens to have... Oh, I wouldn't be able to tell anyway. There's a portal here, but I don't have the right item to unlock that portal. Um, here we go, this is the spot I'm looking for. Use the Cane of Pocky. Reverse the properties of the hole, go up here, and now... To your right. Yep, very, very easy heart piece. Yeah, over here is a dead end. So I would show you that for whatever reason, but there, well, actually there's going to be something that's going to appear there later. Uh, but it requires a certain kinstone fusion. Anyway, let's go back 
down and around. You know, oh, uh, since I got a new sword, I should actually go over to um, the Master Swordsman here because he will now power up my sword with a really helpful ability. This will really speed things up, so I, might, I should probably do that now. Get ready. Ah, a new sword! Fantastic! And you seem to acquire new skills with it! Yes! I am ready to train you again, young swordsman! So, will you accept this new training? Absolutely. I will now teach you a technique called the Rock Breaker! So pay attention. First, swing your sword to break pots! Actually, that's all there is, young swordsman. <laughs> I love him so much. Yes, I do understand. <laughs> yes, aha, good. If you had said you didn't understand, I would have serious doubts about you. <laughs> yes, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. That is the secret of the swift blade possession technique of training. Watch this. Yeah, And yeah, that's why it's an extremely handy ability. You can also use this to destroy rocks as well, which will take care of those rock spiky beetles with ease. Oh yeah. No need to worry about them anymore. Yes, fine work. Fantastic even. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. Doo -doo -doo -doo! And I learned the secret rock breaker fighting technique. Yeah, I'm not really sure how anyone could not understand that technique because you kind of have to be using the sword up to this point in the game. And yes, anyway, let's see what he else has to say. Come again when you learn to run like the wind. And yes, I will. He's hinting at a, another item. And oh, oh, oh. I'm at 18 minutes this part, so maybe it would be a good idea to end off the part here and then do some more sides quests starting in the next part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.